Welcome to Little Josh Yarns. Today, I'm going to teach you how to crochet this granny square sweater. If this is your very first time here, I like to create new patterns every single week. So make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always up to date with the patterns at Little John Yarns. This top can be easily adjusted to your size with a few alterations, but if you're following my pattern exactly, I am considered a medium to a large. I am 5'7". My measurements are 38, 32, 43. This entire pattern was created using the granny square stitch, alternating colors of three. The stitches that we'll be using in this pattern are chain, single crochet, and double crochet stitch. I will not be teaching um, stitches in this video, so make sure you know your stitches before we start this pattern. The materials that we'll be using for this video are six skeins of worsted weight yarn. I'm using Kiron Simply Soft. You'll also need a six millimeter crochet hook for size J and a needle for sewing. If you enjoy making crochet clothing, make sure you check out and subscribe to Naturally Danielle and Chasing Sunray, a part of the Crochet Queens. If you find this video is moving too fast, just look down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You'll see a little gear button. Just click that and you can slow down to the video to your liking. We are, we are using a 6mm crochet hook and I'm using some Kiron Simply Soft and three different colors. We're going to begin by making a slip knot. And now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to slip stitch into the very first chain to form a ring. Now chain three. One, two, three. From here on out in this pattern, your chain three will count as a double crochet. We're going to place two more double crochets into the ring. One, two. Your three double crochets from here on out will be called a cluster. So chain two, one, two. Let's place another cluster into the ring. That's three double crochets. One, two, and three. Once again, chain two, one, two. Cluster into the ring. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. And let's put our last cluster into the ring. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. And we're going to slip stitch into the top of your chain three stitch. And fasten off your work. Next, we're going to switch colors into the very next one, and I'll show you how to attach your yarn. Find one of your corners and attach your new yarn to the corner. Okay, once your yarn is attached, chain three. One, two, three. Place two more double crochets into the ring to form a cluster. One, two. Since this is considered your corner, we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to place another cluster back into the very same space. One, two, and three. Now chain one. This chain one is considered your side stitch. Now we're going to repeat this same cluster on your next corner. 
So place one cluster into your corner. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, since this is your corner. Place one more cluster back into the very same space. So your three double crochets. One, two, and three. Since we're back on the side of your square, we're going to chain one. Okay, we're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing a cluster, chain two, cluster, followed by chain one, cluster, chain two, cluster, and I'll meet you back at the other side where we're going to slip stitch to join. So you can pause your video here. Okay, we made it back to the other side and we're going to put in our last chain one because this is considered our side and we're going to slip stitch to join into the top of your chain three stitch. And fasten off your work. Now once again, we're going to switch colors into my third color. Just like before, I'm going to attach my yarn into one of the corners of my work. So here's my square and here are my four corners. Okay, since we're on a corner, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Place two more double crochets into the same stitch to create your cl cluster. One, two. Since this is our corner, we're going to chain two. One, two. And place the cluster back into the very same space. One, two and three. Since now we'll be working on our sides, we're always going to chain one for your side clusters. Place a cluster into the very next chain one space. One, two, three. Since you're on your side, chain one. Now let's work our corner. Um, sequence which is a cluster chain two cluster I'll work that one with you first cluster one two three now chain two one two cluster back into the very same space one two and three. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by um, chaining one cluster into your chain one spaces and on your corner stitches we're going to do a cluster chain two cluster. We're going to do that all the way around so you can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We have made it back around and now we're going to chain one and slip stitch, excuse me, slip stitch to join into the top of your chain three stitch. and now you can fasten off your work. We're going to repeat this same sequence for an additional 15 rows. I'll show you how to adjust this pattern for your size. To make adjustments for your size, continue making granny squares until you reach half the width of your hip distance plus one inch. An example of this would be a woman with 42 inch hips. If you take half of that would be 21 plus one more inch, 22. So you continue crocheting rows until it's 22 inches wide. For sizes 2X or over, just precautionary, if you follow this rule of thumb, your top will be much longer than um, sizes Once that are smaller. Done with your rows. You can fasten off your work and I want you to go ahead and make a second piece, an additional piece of the exact same size. 
Okay, you can pause your video here and go ahead and make your second additional piece the exact same size. But once you're done with that, we're going to come back to one of your pieces and we're going to attach the yarn to the very corner of your work. And once you attach the yarn, we are going to chain four. Here's my little trick so I don't have to weave in my ends while I go. I take my yarn, see the two strands put them together, and just chain four. One, two, three, four. And with that, I just cut off this end. It's already weaved into my work. So I won't have to go do that later. later. Okay, once that's cut off, we're going to place a cluster into the chain one space. One, two, and three. I forgot to tell you, your um, chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And, cha oops, and chain one again. We are going to chain one, place one cluster into each chain one space all the way across until you make it until the other end. And we'll pause the video here and I'll meet you once you complete this cluster right before the last corner. Remember, we're just doing this first row. We're not going away, going around all four corners. So just one side. Pause your video here and I'll meet you after this one side. Okay, we've made it to the end of this row. We have a row of white going across the top. And so now we're going to chain one and place one double crochet in this chain two space at the corner. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This chain three will count as a double crochet. Turn your work. We're going to place three double crochets into this chain one space right here. One, two, three. So it'll look like you have four uh, double crochets. So chain one. And we're going to continue placing three double crochets in each one of your chain one stitches all the way across. So pause your video here, keep placing a chain one cluster into each stitch all the way across until you make it to the very end and I'll work this last chain four space with you. So pause your video here. Okay, we've made it back to the end of this row and I'm going to chain one and in your last chain four space, we're going to place four um, double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now we're just going to do a repeat of the last two rows. So I'm going to give you um, the next row. I'm going to show you the next row again one more time just in case you didn't understand the first time. So now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. Remember your chain three plus, well, chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And now we're going to cluster into each one of your chain one spaces. That's just three double crochets. We're going to do that all the way across. So chain one, cluster into each one of your chain one spaces until you make it to the other end. Pause the video here and I'll show you how to work that very last stitch again. Okay, we made it to the end of this row and we're going to chain one and we're going to place a double crochet on the, um, the top of your chain three stitch right here. And that completes that row. All right, for the next row, which is also in your pattern repeat, I'll show you what to do one more time. We are going to chain three. One, two, three. Oops, which counts as a double crochet. 
turn your work and we're going to place three more double crochets into this space right here. You'll chain one space. One, two, and three. So it'll look like you have four uh, double crochets in this space here. Once again, we are going to chain one and place a cluster into each one of your chain one spaces all the way across. Pause your video here and I'll show you how to finish off this row. We've made it back to the other side and so we're going to chain one and we're going to place four double crochets into the chain four space. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to continue that two row pattern repeat until your whole back section, I mean the white section, reaches ten rows. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your rows. This is what your back panel should look like. You should have ten rows of white. This goes for all sizes. Now we're working on a second piece We're going to uh, where we're going to create the v-neck to the top, like so. We're going to create a um, section that looks exactly like this. To do that, I'm going to create the other half. I'm just going to turn over my work so I can start from the corner. Let me adjust my camera. And we're going to attach our yarn to the very corner space. And we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Just going to cut off my little uh, end so I don't have to worry about it later. Excuse these ugly, bulky scissors. I can't find my nice, pretty ones for the video. So we have our chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. What we're going to do, you're going to find the center of your work exactly, and we're going to place um, clusters all the way until you make it to the center of your work. So I'll show you what to do. We're going to place a, ah, excuse me, tongue tied, a cluster into your next chain one space. That's three double crochets. Chain one and keep placing clusters all the way across into your chain one space until you make it right before your center um, piece of your top. So pause your video here, keep making clusters until you make it to your very center piece of your top. Okay, we made it to your center stitch. Oh, just so you know where the center stitch is, I had 18 of these little brown uh, clusters, so I knew my ninth um, stitch over and in would be my center stitch. All right, we're going to chain one and we're going to place two double crochets into this center stitch. One and two. Let me pull out some yarn. Oops. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to turn your work. And we are going to place uh, three clusters into the chain one space right here. One, two, and three. Chain one, continue placing clusters into each stitch across until you make it to the very end where we're going to place four uh, double crochets into the chain four space. You can pause your video here and I'll meet you when you make it to the very last space. We made it to the very last chain four space of this row and we're going to place four double crochet in. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. We're going to place a cluster into the next chain one space. One, two, 
and 3. All right, you can pause your video here. We're going to continue to place a chain 1, a cluster, into each one of your chain 1 spaces. And we're going to put the very last cluster into the second to the last space. And we'll work the last stitch together. So pause your video here, continue placing clusters all the way into this space, and I'll meet you there. Okay, we've made it to the end of this row. So what we're going to do is chain one, and we're going to place a double crochet into this uh, chain four space. All right, now we're just going to repeat the last two rows, this row and this row, one more time. So you can pause your video here and repeat the last two rows one more time. All right, now that you completed those additional two more rows to create your slope, we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're just going to even out our work. Turn your garment. It's hard to turn everything on camera, sorry. This time, we're going to place three double crochets into the chain of one space right next to your original chain four. So we're not going to skip a space, we're going to go right here. So place three double crochets into this very first chain one space. One, two, and three. You can see how this stops the slope. Here's the slope and now it's going to even out just like this. I'll show you on this side. It stops the slope and it goes up like so. All right, we're going to continue to chain one and put clusters all the way across your work until you make it to the other side. And of course, at the very end, we're going to add four double crochets. So pause your video here and we're going to complete this row. We made it to the end of the row and don't forget to put your four double crochets into that last chain four space at the end of your row. Once again, we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. We're going to place a cluster in the very first chain one space right here. One. two and three and chain one so continue chaining one placing one cluster in each one of your chain one spaces all the way across until you make it to the other side I'll um, complete this last stitch with you so you know exactly what you're doing so pause your video here okay we've made it to the end of this row and we're going to chain one and we're going to place a double crochet into this chain four space. And that finishes off the row. All right, we're going to repeat these last two rows until you have a total of five rows that are going even, if that makes sense. So here's a row where it starts. So it'll go, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Five rows that remain even. If that sounds too complicated, <laughs> I'll have a total of 10 white rows all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 <laughs> white rows all together. So like I said, repeat those last two rows until you make it to the amount that you need. So pause your video here. All right, once you completed those rows, you're just going to fasten off your work. You should end up on your left hand side when you're done. And you're just going to repeat the same exact thing on the other side. Um, just flip the work over and attach your yarn to the corner and repeat the same exact pattern on the other side. Here's what the completed section should look like. Next, we're going to work on a sleeve. And remember, we're working in multiples of 4 plus 3. So I did a chain of 48 plus 3, which is 51. And now we're just going to um, single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And we're going to continue placing single crochets all the way across your work until you make it to the other side. So pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the very end of this row. Okay, we've made it to the end of this row, 
And now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Your chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Turn your work. We are going to skip four stitches. Well, we're going to place a cluster in the fourth stitch over. So one, two, three, four. Remember, we're not counting this first stitch. So one, two, three, four over. Cluster. One, two, and three. Chain one, and we're going to cluster in the fourth stitch over again. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. Chain one. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across by chaining one and placing the cluster in the fourth stitch over all the way across. And I'll meet you at the end to do the last stitch together. We've made it to the end of the row and now you should have one stitch left over and you're going to put a double crochet in that very last stitch. And fasten off your work. The sleeves are going to be worked in a panel. And I'm not going to be turning my work, so I'm just going to keep adding new rows going across this way. So next, I'm going to add my next row for my next color. Just attach your yarn onto your work. Okay. And we are going to chain three. Remember your chain three counts as a little double crochet. One, two, three. And we're going to place three double crochets into this very first space. One, two, three. So it's going to kind of look like you have four into the same space chain one and cluster into the very next chain one space one two and three so um, we're going to repeat this pattern sequence all the way across to the other side by chaining one and putting cluster in each one of your chain one spaces and we're going to work the very last stitch together and um, I'll show you how to do that so pause your video here we've made it to the very end so we're going to chain one and we're going to place a double crochet into that very uh, first double crochet over here and I'll show you how I uh, weave in my work as I go so I started my double crochet I'll take my little white end right here from the previous row I'll wrap it around my work and start with my double crochet as usual by going through two and I'll take this little chain, this little loop, and wrap it around again. And I'll go through those last two. That way I brung up my tail to the very next row. And I'm just going to crochet it across on the very next row. So now you can fasten off your work. And you found a new trick so you can weave in your um, work as you go. And you see how this um, piece is brung up to the last row. It'll make more sense once I um, finish the very next row. Let me change yarns again. Just for future references, these, this row and the next row are going to be a pattern repeat that you're going to repeat for the rest of this sleeve. So I'll teach you how to do the next row. We're going to attach our yarn to your chain three. I'll teach you another um, trick so you don't have to <laughs> weave in your yarn afterwards. I'm just going to take my work, fold it over pretty long, and I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And that little piece right here, I'm just going to 
cut off so I don't have to worry about that later. And I'm going to place uh, three double crochets into the next chain one piece right here. So one, two, and three. Chain one. We're going to continue placing clusters in each one of your chain one spaces all the way across until you make it to the other side. So you can pause your video here and I'll meet you when you make it to this end and I'll work the last stitch with you. Okay, we've made it to the end of the row and I'm going to show you how I weave in these stitches. Alright, for this last part we're going to place a cluster into the very last space over here. So fold your um, ends over and place your cluster right on top. One, two, and three. And I forgot you have to add one more double crochet for four. Four. So actually there's four double crochets into that last chain four space right here and your ends are weaved in already. So fasten off your work. And we're just going to repeat these last two rows over and over again until you complete your sleeve. I'll leave a um, tag down below a little exactly how many rows that you need to complete the sleeve. So I'll leave that right down below in the screen below. Sorry that sounds a little bit redundant, but I wasn't sure what I was trying to say. All right, so pause your video here and complete the sleeve and I'll meet you when you're all done. To Here's assemble what your, your sleeve, will you're going like. to take your rectangle and begin to fold it in half. Sorry, I'm using one hand. And once your item is folded in half, you'll thread a needle and do a whip stitch or whatever sewing technique you choose all the way up the side of your work to create a tube. You're going to do this to both of your rectangles. All right, I'll show you the next step in assembling your garment. First, you're going to lay down your back panel, followed by the v-neck panel on top of that. Then we're going to place their arms on either side of the top of your rectangle. This is where we're going to sew on our arms, at the very top near the white section. It's very simple. You can use whatever sewing technique you use. Just place your um, whip stitch across the shoulder seam and also down the sides okay, and around now the arms of your work. we're just going to place work. a row of single crochet all the way around the border of your uh, neckline. To do that, I usually like to attach the yarn to the back so when um, it's connected you won't see the connections up front. And just place your single crochets all the way around in each one of your stitches. Alright, so you can pause your video here, continue placing single crochets evenly spaced all the way around the perimeter of your neckline. So pause your video here and I'll meet you when you're done with that. Alright, once your um, border around your neck is finished, all you have to do is fasten off your ends. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And also, go check out my crochet vest and all my other crochet patterns. Okay guys, I'll see you all on the next tutorial.